Hi, welcome to uh, DMX Lighting. Uh, this is the introduction to, this is part six, creating scenes. Uh, so what a scene is, a uh, predetermined lighting of a set stage or display, it's exactly what it sounds like. And uh, scenes are lit using the preset fixtures we configured earlier. So we set up uh, a bunch of dimmers to correspond to different uh, uh, LED lights. And that and we're going to use those presets, those faders, dimmers, to uh, light a scene. Uh, once a scene is lit, what we do is we store it in a memory bank. And we'll call up the memory bank later when we create chases. Uh, first thing, like anything, you have to plan your scenes. It should be planned ahead of time in consultation with the director and script. Uh, we've got a really simple one here. What we're going to have is scene one. We're going to have our group one lights are red, group two lights are red. So what happens is that we have four par lights. We've uh, separated into two groups, uh, left group, right group, and they're both are going to be uh, red and we're going to have our robo lights are going to be off and these are our moving headlights. Uh, scene two is uh, we're going to have our group lights are going to be green. Keep it nice and simple. Our robos are going to be white and focused on the ta talent. We don't have any talent. So what we'll do is we'll just have them focused in a, uh, an area of our lab here. Uh, scene four will change the colors to blue. The robos are going to be uh, sorry, scene three will have the uh, change of color to blue for the group. And what we'll have is turn the robos off. And uh, scene four, what we'll do is we'll have everything will be blue, the robos will be on, and they will be uh, focused on something else. It's just so we see a little bit of movement. So first thing, uh, building the scene. Scenes are stored in memory banks. Uh, in the uh, uh, lighting controller that we have is the Eurolight LC2412. It, can, it has 10 memory banks and each memory bank can hold 12 scenes. So we have a total of 120 scenes that we can uh, store in here. Uh, we create our first scene by selecting the preset mode and what we do is we set the upper button to be off because we're going to deal with the lower ones first and what we'll do is we'll turn on our um, dimmers and we'll get the lighting as we require. Um, so on the LC2412 we set the bank up down key so the P appears in the bank LED display that tells us we're working with the presets. We make sure our dimmers a is on full, uh, B, we're going to put it on full, leave it there, and the main dim dimmer will be on full too. Uh, so we've created a scene, and to store the first scene, we select the memory bank button, and uh, memory bank 9 will be displayed. Use the bank up down to change to a different memory bank if you require. We push the flash 1 key that's at the bottom of the uh, uh, our controller, and that'll select the first scene or first location in memory. Uh, a couple of keys will pop up. Uh, the soft A key is a preset that will overwrite anything in that memory location. Press the quit button, will save, and then we turn the flash button off in the upper right corner. And then what we do is we press flash one to verify the scene has been correctly configured with the lower preset. We'll go through this. I have a video following that we'll, I'll take you step by step through. Uh, when we add to a scene, now we, we, we've set up our first 12 uh, presets. And what we want to do is we want to do the upper 13 to 24 presets. So we set up our scene again. This time we have our upper button selected. Uh, we push, we set memory mode in. Set it for memory bank nine. Uh, in our case, uh, we push the flash one key. That's the first scene. And what we're going to do is select the soft B key, which is all. What all means it's going to add to the existing scene. So everything that was stored before plus the uh, latter uh, changes. Uh, we press the quit button. That saves it. Uh, we turn the channel flash button off. Make sure we're on still on bank nine and press flash one to verify the scene has been correctly configured with both the upper and lower presets. All right, so what we're going to do is create our first scene. And what we want to do is set up in preset mode. I have preset mode here. So I'm going to turn on the master for my group one lights and it's going to be red. So if I bring this up here, you can see that the lights have turned red. These are my group one. I put those two together. I have that. Now, one of the tricks you might want to do is the scene after this is I'm going to be 
moving my robo light and what I want it to do is I'm going to pan it bring it around here down here and the next scene I believe I'm going to have it white so I'll turn it on so it's on white and I'm going to put it roughly in the position where the second scene is this way it's going to stop the uh, robo light from moving all over the place turn it down so it's off and now I want to save that scene so for this device I go to memory we save their scenes in memory so I hit the memory button here and it says select the memory so now we're going to be working on this bottom one and what we're going to have is our B fader up because it controls the bottom of the scene and I select here so this is our memory one position and it changes over here now it's one bank nine this guy will do uh, uh, ten banks starting from zero to nine I'm just using nine because it's the default and now I have two selections I got preset and all if I do preset it overwrites what's ever in that bank so I hit here and now it's saved now this is only done the lower bank because I've got the lower bank set so what I'm going to do is quit it saved it and one of the things you have to do with the um, these uh, faders is always bring them back to zero right? and then what I'll do is hit upper and now I'm going to use our faders our dimmers 13 to 24 so I'll bring up these two which are this group over here these two guys over here so initially I did that that's my lower bay or lower presets these guys are my uppers so I got those two going and I'll do the same thing here is that I'm going to set my robo light which is over there and I'm going to set it roughly to where I want the next scene to be and this is going to stop it from spinning around and I'll bring it up here I got it right so it's roughly in the position I want turn off the lights so now it's physically in the right position and I come back to press the memory button I want scene one it's changed to C1 and now instead of hitting preset which overwrites I'm going to hit all and what that does is it adds to the existing scene I hit Q to quit and now what I can do is I can press the flash button if I have this guy off uh, just one sec here I got to go back to preset 9 turn off the, the flash and now if I hit this one it'll come up and it'll have my four par lights with uh, um, red and these guys are ready to, to turn on my next scene which I've already pre-programmed will turn it to green and see the, the uh, what you'd really want to do is mark down exactly the positions of where you put your lighting for the pan and tilt I can go back and forth just by pressing the flash buttons otherwise what would happen is you'd see the robo lights would move like this all over the place so if you preset them in between your scenes then they're not going to move all over the place and we keep doing that this is our scene 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so we have 12 scenes we can put them in sequence I've got a whole bunch programmed in here uh, what I'm going to do is turn off the lights here and I'll just show you what it looks like alrighty so scene one scene two oh you see those lights are on what happened is I left my a fader which is the presets alright so I got scene one the lights uh, robo lights turn scene two Scene three, turned them to blue. Scene four, the robo lights turn on blue. 
So that's, that's how we get our scene set up. This completes part six of our uh, uh, introduction to DMX uh, lighting, um, creating scenes. In part seven, we'll be creating chases, and chases are how we sort of program the sequences of scenes.